Hey everybody, welcome to the team call. Today is February 17th and we are going to talk today about the importance of events and making sure that you're investing in yourself and investing in your business and making it a priority to get to events. So, um, you know, as you guys know, Emma and I just got back yesterday from Wisconsin and we were at the Team Triceps Retreat. And so what that was, was our upline coach, all of us, you know, we are all part of Team Triceps, which um, was started by Sarah Tri, who's our upline coach. And so she put on a retreat for the whole team. There were 40 people there. We rented out um, two huge mansions that were on the, um, on Green Bay and it was really cold, but it was amazing. And, um, we did some, you know, different trainings and stuff like that, but more than anything, um, you know, what I really loved was that we were able to, you know, talk with each other for, and be around people for the first time, um, that we usually only interact with on social media. And so, you know, I, you know, Emma and I were, were talking about, you know, what to do our topic on for our team call. And, um, you know, Carly Del Carlo, you guys know her, she gave us the idea of doing um, the importance of events because it really has the power to change your business and to really just make a huge impact on everything. So, um, you know, so for me, you know, I want to just talk about like my first event. So the first event that I actually got to um, is, was um, Summit. And Summit, for those of you who might be newer, Summit, Summit is our big yearly um, event that Beachbody puts on. And, um, you know, it's hold, held different places every year. But this year it's going to be in Nashville. And it was the first event that I had ever gotten to. And so um, to be able, like I said, to meet other coaches and be around all these people who inspire me through social media and Facebook and in our Facebook groups, but to be with them in person was, it just was like all of this support and encouragement that we all love um, amplified times 10. Um, it's so much fun to be around like-minded people and just to be surrounded by it and to have real conversations with people and um, to just be able to interact, you know, it just, it, it, it's so much fun. It's, it's really just like life changing, you know, on top of that, um, summit has, you know, trainings from some of the top coaches in the company. So, um, it really just, and not only was I able to just like have fun and, and meet the team, but to be able to get like training from the best people in this company who are doing like amazing things with their businesses was just, um, awesome. And it just, it, it just strengthened my belief in what we do as coaches and in Beachbody as a company as a whole. Um, and that, you know, belief is what's really going to move you forward. It's going to, you know, when you, when you have like a really deep belief and a passion for this, um, people can tell, you know what I mean? You don't come off as like a salesy person. You come off like someone who really truly believes in what you're saying and what you're doing. So, um, that is what this weekend um, did for me. That's what Summit did for me. It, it just strengthened my belief and it reminded me that I love this company. I love the people that are on this team. And whenever I come back from events like that, I'm just, it lights me on fire. You know what I mean? I just, it, it has helped push me forward like amazingly. So Emma, can you maybe talk about, you know, your first event or maybe like your favorite event that's really helped you get started? Um, and really made a difference for you in your business? Yeah, um, actually, my first um, event that really got me going was my first Super Saturday. Um, I went with one of my friends, um, two of my friends, actually, and I became Diamond two weeks later. Um, it just lit a fire under my, you know, my butt that I really wanted to um, – do this full time. And I saw, you know, listening to the success stories and hearing, um, you know, how people have lost, you know, so much weight or that what they've done with this business was really just reassuring that like, I could do this too. And I asked myself, you know, why not me? Like, why can't I do exactly what these people have been doing? You know, what, what stands me apart from everyone else and just getting there and having that culture, seeing everyone else that's a part of Beachbody, seeing how different we were. I think that was one of the biggest takeaways that I, um, 
from Summit even. Summit was freaking amazing. Um, just seeing all of us walking around different, like we all look different. We're all, you know, we're just all like, just unique. And it was just so cool to see um, and meet people in real life. Like Alexis said, you know, being with your team is something that, um, you know, we're together on team calls and we're together on the team page, but just being there with each other and like physically being with each other is just something that is like no other. And it's just an amazing bonding experience. Um, and I think, you know, intimate like this last weekend are so awesome as well um, because summit is really big, but these intimate events that we have for our team, um, we're really lucky to have not everyone, you know, gets these things, um, you know, in the downline and stuff like that. And it, it was just so just, just really cool to meet new people and have the conversations we had this weekend with everyone. Um, and also, um, I don't know if you want to talk about, we can earn, you can earn your ticket to summit for free. Um, so for those of you who don't know what success starters is, it's something that I earned, um, for summit. So I earned my ticket for free and you do that by hitting success club your first three months as a coach and you get your first two months to hit success club. So if you sign up middle of the month and you don't hit it, um, you get the full, the, the next month to, um, get that as well. So, um, that was a goal that I had from the beginning when I signed up, um, because I didn't have $300 to buy a ticket for summit. And so I figured why not change three people's lives for three months and, um, earn that to be able to go and hang out with my team. So, um, Mm -hmm. yeah awesome yeah um so super saturday you know that that's an awesome um event that can really make a big difference i want to nicole lambert who's on my yeah. team um she is a rock star she's kicking butt and she actually got to our local seattle super saturday this past J january and um i was talking to her because she had been in kind of like I don't want to say like a funk, but she, you know, she, her business had kind of slowed down and she was kind of out of her routine and stuff. And so I told her, I was like, let's, let's go to super Saturday. Let's make sure that you get there. And she did. And ever since then, she has been kicking butt. She hit success club the last two months. Um, she's shooting for diamond and is kicking ass. And so, and I, you know, asked her, I was like, do you think that that really helped? And she said that being around like-minded people, um, and being around other people on the team and just, um, you know, just being around that energy really made a huge difference for her. So for those of you guys who don't know, you know, Super Saturday is a quarterly event that, um, that happens. And so, um, and it's a local event. So they happen all around the country. You can look online and see um, in the back office where a Super Saturday event will, is going to be happening near you. But it happens on the same day. So there's like multiple events across the country happening on the same Saturday. Um, and everyone, you know, it, it's just so fun. You know, you get to meet other local coaches that are near you. And, um, you know, Beachbody always has some sort of cool announcements. Usually you can do a workout of some sort. Um, some cities have really big Super Saturday events and even have like, um, Carl, Carl Deichler, the CEO or Autumn or, you know, any of the trainers sometimes like make appearances. So Super Saturday is really great. It's, it's not very expensive. You don't have to travel, but it's, it's still an awesome event that's going to help you, um, you know, get that motivation and fire that we're talking about. So, um, if anything, like make it a, um, a point and, you know, a, a non-negotiable in your business to make it to Super Saturday in the summit too, because it's really different. Someone's not muted. Um, but let me see really quick. Oh, okay. I think they muted themselves. Okay. So, um, you know, I asked my, so I wanted to also share the story of one of my rock star coaches, um, who made it a point to, get to an event and her business completely changed. Mm -hmm. So Sarah Chaluti, some of you guys might know her. She um, is a yes. dynamic on my team. And on a call. I know she's right there. She, and, and so Sarah is a diamond coach on my team and I kind of wanted her to just like speak really quick and tell her experience with getting to platinum edge this past November. So Sarah, can you unmute yourself and kind of share your story? Like what happened, you know, set us up, tell us what happened before and, you know, how mm -hmm. that event changed your business. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? 
Yes, perfect. Okay. So um, for those who don't know me, um, just a little like quick background. Um, I am not a full-time beach body coach. I'm actually only 22 and a college student. Um, I don't have any other job besides beach body. My job before this was um, being a bartender on Thursday nights once a week. So, um, so you kind of get my like gist of I never really had a really big income or something. So um, money was always tight for me. And, you know, obviously taking huge risks, like um, I think all in all, Dallas was about, you know, in the 800 to thousand dollar range. So um, I was super nervous to kind of take that like jump and spend that kind of money. Cause honestly um, only being 22 and not really doing much, I never really spent that much like money of my own money. So I was really nervous and scared. And but one day I was just kind of laying up and um, I remember, I have no idea why, but I was just like, I think Alexa had an event she went to recently or something. And I just remember thinking like, I was so jealous because <laughs> I wasn't there. I have never met um, Alexa, Emma, Brittany, you know, any of the beach body coaches that I'm always talking to and all that stuff. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go because what else am I going to do with the $1,000? Um, which I know is probably the most ridiculous thing to say. But um, so I was talking to Alexa. I think I texted her at like three in the morning my time, which works out perfectly because it was only 12 her time. But I was like, hey, um, I know uh, Dallas is only two weeks away, but I think I'm going to go. And, um, you know, I just kind of took the leap of faith and just tr trusted Alexis. You have to go. It's going to be great. And when I went there, honestly, I am so glad. It was, it's probably the best thing that ever happened to me in 2014 and the best risk I ever took because just going there and seeing, you know, I went for that and failed. And I'm Oh, no, I'm on two things. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Sorry, you guys. Also, let me get off this here. Please. Okay. Here. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, as you guys hear, Sarah's business just started booming after she, she went to an event. And that's really, like, the, the, that's really the power of events. It really has the ability to do that for your business. Um, so, you know... <clears throat> I can't hear you, Lex. Alexa. Can anyone else hear her? Okay. Yeah, no sound. I, was I can't hear her. Okay, oh, hold on. I oh my oh, God. Yeah. We can hear you now. We can hear you now. God, you guys, I'm sorry. This is like the most out of control thing. Okay. You can hear me now. We're not okay. perfect, clearly. Hey. Sorry. Gosh, I've clearly been like gone for the last six days. Um. Okay. Back in business. I'm plugged in. Good to go. Okay. So what I was saying was, um, I know that it's an investment to get to these events, and that's something that I know holds a lot of people back. Is you know making the investment to, um, you know, fly to summit or, you know, get the hotel room or whatever it is. But, um, just know that investing in yourself and investing in your business has the potential to just exponentially boost, you know, boost your business. And you can make that investment back like quicker than if you hadn't gotten to that event, if that makes any sense, you know what I mean? So, you know, I know that it's hard for some people and just, but just know that, that it has the potential to make the income grow like crazy. So for me, um, and with Summit too, there's always can a Can you make sure everyone's, or can yeah. everyone make sure they're muted? Sorry. Right there. Okay, sorry. Um, so, like I was saying, um, with Summit, um, they always do product launch launches at Summit. So, um, you know, 
every year at Summit, my, well, not every year, I've only been to one Summit, but Summit always has the ability to really boost your income and really boost your business because it's like a launch of a new program. People are seeing what you're doing, just like Emma said. Um, whenever I'm going to events, I have people that are, that are watching me and they're seeing what you're doing and they're seeing you're doing all this cool stuff and that you're traveling to other places or that you're, you're, you're actually, um, you know, with your team and, and bonding with your team. And that's the stuff that a lot of people, you know, wish they could have, you know, um, for me, like the support and accountability of my team and the, the friendship and the bond that we all have is like one of my favorite parts of being a coach. So to see that in real life and see us all hanging out and we are not just like, you know, behind this, you know, our Facebook profile pictures, but we actually get together in real life and spend time with each other. Um, you know, people see that and, you know, they're going to want to do what you're doing. They're going to want to know what it is that you're doing. Um, and my income after, after summit this past year, like shot up seriously, I'm pretty sure it did for you too. Emma. I think we were talking about this before, but, um, you know, after events, you know, you just, just know that this is, something that has the potential to really, um, click with people. You know what I mean? Um, for me, like seeing all the things that my, my coach Lauren was going to, she went on the, the success club trip. She went to the cruise last year. Um, she went to Wisconsin on the diamond retreat last year and she was doing all these cool things. And so for me, I was like, man, I want to do that. I thought, I want that to be me. You know, I went from, you know, working full time and never, you know, traveling once. I had traveled um, once and maybe once a year to being able to travel. The, you know, this trip in, from Wisconsin is my third trip in the last three months, which is just crazy to think about. But it's because um, I've been making getting to events a priority. And the reason, you know, doing that, making events a priority has really helped my business. I, you know, I've, I've made it, um, just part of my, of my business to be able to make sure I'm going to these things because it really just inspires and motivates me and just sets me on fire. You know what I mean? So, um, just know that, that you, yes, we understand it's an investment, but know that by, by investing in your business, the return on investment is, is so high. You know what I mean? You have the ability to, to make that money back plus them if you invest in yourself and make that a priority. Okay. Um, you know, anything else that you want to add Emma about, about events in general or anything? Um, well, Rebecca is on the call I see. And she actually came to Wisconsin kind of last minute. Um, she drove and picked up another girl on the team do you want to share something that you took away from the weekend um, for everyone to hear since you made that investment in yourself and maybe a little background of how long you've been a coach as well? Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, okay, so, yeah. Um, I've been a coach since October, I think. And, like, at the beginning, I was kind of, like, slow moving and stuff like that. And um, I decided that I wanted to go to this thing. And I was actually going to go with my coach, Sammy. And then something came up. Sammy couldn't go. And I was just, like, really nervous. And I was, like, going back and forth in my head. I was, like, do I go? Do I not go? What do I do? And, like, Sammy was just there for me. And she was just, like, go. Like, get to this event. Be there meet all these people, tell me how it is. And so I was like, fine, I'll do it, like, whatever. And then I think I posted somewhere that I was driving, and I was like, I was like, okay, if anyone needs a ride. And I didn't think anyone was going to take a ride from someone they didn't know. And then I got a message, and it was this girl, and she was just like, hey, like, I saw you're giving out rides, whatever. I'd love to take a ride from you. I'll pay for half the gas, blah, blah. And so I was, like, really nervous at first, and I was, like, oh, geez, like, what are we going to talk about? What, like, what if she doesn't like my music? Like, that was my big thing, is what if she doesn't like my music? And so, like, I messaged her, and we were talking about it, and she's, like, yeah, whatever, like, you know. So I get to the airport, and she's, like, standing there, and I'm, like, oh, my gosh, like, what are we going to do? So I get in the car, and I was so thankful because she – she just kind of talked to me and she was so easygoing and 
she was just kind of like, you know, I'm so happy that you're coming to this thing, and I'm so happy you could give me a ride, and blah, blah, blah. And then we get to Wisconsin, and, like, we pull in, and the whole time, like, this whole trip, like, just going is so far out of my comfort zone. Like, if if you know me, like, I know, like, not a lot of you do. I literally just sit at home and, like, do nothing. Like, I'm yeah. such an introvert, and, like, I don't talk to people. Like, I don't know. So, like, picking this girl up from, that I didn't know from the airport was, like, a huge deal. And then going to the retreat is, like, a huge deal. And, like, the whole time I'm thinking in my head, like, oh, my God, should I just turn around and go home? Like, I don't I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, I'm so scared. And then I was like, no, I have to get Shawana to the retreat. Like, if nothing else, I have to get Shawana to this retreat. So we get there, and she's like, don't be nervous. You're going to be fine. We walk in, and Stacy Kitty comes running up to me and gives me a huge hug, and she goes, hi, I'm Stacy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess a little, okay. And then, like, I meet Sarah Try, who's, like, and I meet, like, all these people, and they're so, like, huge to me. Like, I feel like I'm just this little coach, like, hey, like, whatever. Like, no one knows me. And then, like, I see everyone, like, Brady Powers and Emma and Alexa and, like, all these people, and I'm just, like, oh my god like what am I doing what what did I get myself into and then like I just get there and I'm just like oh my goodness and then Saturday night we had like a huge dance party and I just remember like um Emma just like comes up to me and starts talking and it was just me and Emma and the whole time like we're talking to each other and I'm just like oh my god this is Emma Owen like what is this and I'm just like this is my life right now I'm like it's so crazy and I'm just like the whole rest of the weekend I was just like this is crazy it's like I get so far out of my comfort zone and then Sunday comes around and like we're all talking and stuff like that and like everyone's sharing their stories and blah 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 and then Sunday night, like, I was sitting at the dining room table, and Adam comes out of the room playing his guitar, and blah, 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 and um, Stacey Kinney was like, oh, yeah, I'll sing, whatever, and then I was talking to this other girl, and I was just kind of like, oh, yeah, like, I, I sing, whatever, and she's like, no way, like, you have to sing something, and I was like, no hell no like I'm not getting in front of people and singing like no and then like she talked to me for like two hours and she was just like please sing please sing please sing and I was like no 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 like two hours later I'm like fine if he can find the music for this song like I will sing and so I sang one song and it just was like like no one said anything mean like everyone was just like oh my gosh like you're so good blah 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 She's amazing. Amazing. Like, you seriously need to record an album. I'm not even shitting you guys. Like, she needs to be on The Voice or on American Idol. Like, she's, I was like, who is this girl? Can she put me to sleep and sing me a lullaby? Like, I literally wanted to take her up to my room and have her just sing. <laughs> like, no, really? Like, seriously. No, and it was just, like, it was just so awesome that this girl that I didn't even know put, like, her like her faith in me and she was just like pushing me to sing and she didn't know that like I could sing like she didn't know like what was gonna happen or whatever she just wanted me to do it and it was just like it was awesome and like it was just awesome knowing that she wanted trusted me to pick her up from the airport and get her to Wisconsin like it's just awesome you know and like meeting everyone and seeing how down to earth everyone is and like oh it was just so amazing <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, like, it's just, I don't know, like, I mean, yeah, like Re Rebecca said, we had an amazing talk, and just, you know, stepping outside our comfort zone, and that's all that this is about, is stepping outside of your comfort zone, um, not with events, but with everything, um, with talking about your journey and being vulnerable and inspiring those, um, you know, with your insecurities. Um, like Becca, she didn't want to sing, and, you know, someone was like, just sing, come on, and she did it, and it turned out to be, 
like such an amazing thing, right? It wasn't anything bad or anything. So, and, and I love how you say that because I think a lot of times people think, you know, posting your before and afters or posting a transformation from a non-scale victory or how you're feeling, um, you know, you might get negative comments, but I can tell you that you're going to get way more positive than negatives because what you're doing honest to God takes balls. Like, sorry, I'm just saying like you got like, I'm serious. Like you just, it's not, no one's going to comment negatively on you opening up about your story and you sharing something that's happened from your past. And if they do delete it and block them, I don't like, I mean, I don't, I, I don't deal with that. And I can tell you, I don't get negative comments. And if I do, then they get deleted from my friends list. Like I, I just want positive people around me. And if, you know, they're not going to support me for sharing, you know, what I've overcome, then they don't need to be a part of my journey. So, um, you know, and I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I think that is respecting yourself and your beliefs and what you want for your life. Don't let anyone take away um, what you want for your life because they're not happy with what you're doing. I mean, it really doesn't matter what they think. So thank you for sharing, Becca. I'm glad I got to meet you finally. And Sam, I wish you guys were there. I wish everyone was there yeah. next year. Come on. <laughs> that was awesome. And I love, thank you so much for sharing. Cause that was, that was so much fun. It was literally so much fun to like listen to you sing and get, get the dance party. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Have this huge dance party, yeah. like shaking it off. Beyonce hair flips going. You guys, I mean, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> it was so much fun. And it was just like, I was sitting there afterwards, like my heart was just completely full. I just, you know, being able to meet everybody and, um, you know, be around everyone and just, you know, be able to like have this fun time together with like like-minded people. We all, you know, love Beachbody so much and to spend that time with each other was just, it was unreal. So much fun. And every event is like that. Every event is just so much fun because our team rocks, you guys. So, you know, you know, really just to wrap it up, you know, events are so important. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm sure you can tell. And, um, they really just have the power to just make huge things happen in your business. So, um, you know, make it a point to get it to your super Saturdays, make it a point to get to summit. Um, summit is huge and it's going to make a huge difference. I mean, it's a big event. So, um, you're going to be able to meet like a ton of people on our team and it's just going to, you, you know, be able to work out with, the trainers that you guys are all, you know, seeing on your TV or your laptop every day and to hear, um, you know, some of the top coaches in the company speak and, um, you know, give amazing training, you know, it, it's just, I can't, I can't explain. And it's just fun. Beachbody always puts on like the most kick-ass parties. Um, Emma and I just, we're still talking about like one of the parties at Summit and we had just like so much fun just dancing the whole time and you know, it's always like that. Beachbody just loves to have fun and loves to spoil their coaches and loves to just uh, make sure we're having a good time while we're changing people's lives. So um, getting to events is key. And I really hope that, that you guys are all going to make an effort to try and get to either a local event or any of the bigger events that we have going on. So, um, you know, with that, do any of you guys have any questions or anything as far as um, you know, events or anything like that, getting to an event, getting to summit, anything. You can unmute yourself if you do, <clears throat> or you can type in the chat box, whatever works. Anyone have questions? No? No questions? How many of you guys, um, by show of hands, are planning on going to summit? Anyone? I see some of you. Awesome. I see a question. When is the next Super Saturday? Um, shoot, I think it's the weekend after Cancun, which is... April. Yes, it is. Um, okay, so. uh, April 25th or 24th. Um, and if you go into your online office, it'll have um, in the events page, it'll say Super Saturday and you can find your local Super Saturday that way by clicking on where you live. Mm -hmm. yep. Sorry, my dog's barking. I'm going to myself now. That's okay. Um, good question. Yeah, it happens every quarter. So, and, and it's always the same weekend for everyone's, no matter where you're at in the country, it always happens on the same weekend. So, um, when it gets closer, we'll definitely post more details about it. So make sure you guys can get to it. Um, does anybody else have any questions about events or anything like that at all? No, no questions. 
Okay, well with that, I'm going to stop the recording. So if you're watching the recording, thank you so much. And yes.